Hello everybody, this is Donnie and um, this is my week 26 post-op, uh, the 30th of May 2012. So two days ago, which was Monday, um, Memorial Day actually, was my uh, six month post-op and I went to see my doctor yesterday and um, he says I've reached 45% of my weight loss. And you know they say that um, if you've lost 50% of your weight, they consider the surgery successful. So as of right now, it isn't deemed successful. And I was looking back on my videos and at week 11, 11 post-op, I was 270 pounds. Today, well, I'll say yesterday when I weighed in at my doctor's, I was 263. Seven pounds in 15 weeks. That's all I've lost. And that number is flexible because my scale says 266. I haven't hit back, I haven't gone back up to 270, but I haven't hit 260 yet. So I said last week I was going to be accountable and I'm going to stop drinking my coffees and I'm going to work out and I'm going to eat right. Well, I've done half of it, I think. Um, I'm still getting the coffees. I stopped for a few days and my weight actually did start to go down, but then the peanuts came around and I'm eating peanuts way too much. And I think that's hindering me. And the coffees, I'm getting them once a week. I mean, once a day. Hello? That's not going to help. So I'm um, doing the exercise. I'm going to the gym. Um, kicking butt. I do a lot of swimming. My trainer, I worked out with him today. And he worked me really hard. And he is very impressed by how hard I worked out. Um, I'm going to show you pictures at the end of this video. Um, from my doctor's office. They took a picture of the very first day when I went in there and had my assessment and they took a picture of me Monday for my sixth month. Um, I've noticed a difference in um, certain areas. My four month picture, um, if you are friends with me on my fitness pal, that is my profile picture. That's my four month post-op picture. And I actually can see a difference between um, now and then. Even though there hasn't been any weight loss, there is a definite change in um, my physique. I am gaining more muscle. I am losing fat. Um, but I'm gaining muscle, so the weight isn't really changing, but my shape is. And, excuse me, mm. I could not stop staring at these pictures. I kept looking at them over and over and over again because I am shocked. I didn't even, when I got the email with the pictures, because they emailed them to me this morning, I didn't, I thought it was junk mail at first. And then when I opened it and saw the picture of myself from back in April of last year, I didn't know it was me until I scrolled down a little further and I'm like, Oh wait, these are the pictures. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I do not recognize myself. And my um, trainer was talking to me about how people there was a study that was done and, and, and the percept self perception, um, is, is what makes it where we want, where we get our mindset on things. Like I did not see myself as someone that big. I, I never thought I was that big. I, this is the first I've actually seen my before pictures as well. They, I never saw them, um, until this morning. So I had no idea that that's what I looked like. And I frankly am so disgusted. And, I, you know, I want, to I, I want to take that picture. I want to put it somewhere, like on the fridge maybe, to say, this is what I never want to look like again. So before I think about getting that ice cream out of the freezer, do you want to look like this again? Take a good hard look at this picture. Is that who you want to be? No, I don't. So yes, that's why I'm going to put that picture on the freezer. I'm going to put it on the fridge. 
So every time I, I want to get a snack or just eat because I like to eat, not because I'm hungry, but because that's just something I want to do. My old habits, you know, that's what's going to kill me. And that's why I'm not losing weight. I don't want to do that. So I know following me, people follow others to be encouraged and to know what it's really like. And yeah, for the last 15 weeks, that's almost four months. I haven't lost any weight, really. I may not be very encouraging, but we all had surgery because we had a weight problem. We all had a weight problem for one reason or another. Those weight problems don't go away just by having the surgery. So being realistic, you still have the mindset of that fat person so that it doesn't just go away because your stomach is smaller. So this is reality. This is so you do know. And so that I, because I do go back and watch my videos so that I can see myself and look at it again and remind myself what I'm doing this for. And that this happens. I'm not the only one it happens to. Unfortunately, it is happening to me because I am making excuses. I am sabotaging myself. I am the one making it so I'm not losing weight. I need to stop eating the calories that I'm burning off or else I'm never going to lose any more weight. Mm. You know, I doubt I'm going to turn the rest of this fat into muscle. So that's, you know, way too much, but I'm sorry that you, you know, I don't have numbers that I mean, I really am sorry because I mean, I want to tell you I'm, I've lost weight. I want to tell you that, um, it's easy to just not eat or be around people who are eating something or smell the barbecues, you know, summertime barbecues and, 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 um, say that I didn't eat that hamburger. You know, I want to say that. I mean, I haven't done that yet and I'm, I'm hoping not to because I know hamburgers are so fattening. But I, you know, at this point, I am going to try and I want to do this. But my my brain right now is my worst enemy because it keeps telling me, oh, it's okay. One, you know, just one's not going to hurt. Y you know, you'll stop doing it tomorrow. After this one, no more coffees, you know. You know no more peanuts, no more ice cream. This will be the last day. Then you have somebody else in the house that says, hey, this sounds good. Or they bring it home or they're eating it in front of you. You know, and my willpower is so weak. So that is where I'm at. And I hope to give you um, numbers that are better next week. But as, as it sits right now, I'm the same as I was last week and the week before. I'm about 266. So... Um, I've got to step up the exercise a notch. I've got to step down the eating crappy stuff. You know, eat more often, eat smaller, eat things that are good for me. Maybe I can start incorporating some fruit in. You know, summer's coming and fresh fruits galore. So that's what I hope to do. So um, I hope you all are doing well. I hope you are doing better than I am. But just so you know, this is what happens. And the only thing I can do is overcome it, move on, and not give up. So wish me luck. You know, make a comment, subscribe. I do have new subscribers. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy my journey, <laughs> as realistic as it is. Um, leave comments. Let me know what you've done if you've been in this position or if you know somebody who's been in this position and how they overcome a four-month stall um, if I wasn't on my antidepressants I probably wouldn't be on here with a smile so please stick with it stick with me help me um, follow through and encourage encouragement is so great and I encourage all you to keep with it no matter if you're not losing weight or if you are just keep positive because that's all I can do is keep positive. I know I'm looking forward to next week.
I'm going to look forward to that being a better week than today. So hope you all had a good Memorial Day weekend. And let's see. I think that's it. And summer's coming. I cannot wait to be outside more. So I will talk to you later.